Hola, mi gente. It's Omilani, and today I want to talk to you about the census, the race, and why it matters. First of all, what the heck is the census? Good morning, sir. I'm the census taker. Are you married or happy? So while a lot of people think that the census is personal and has to do with your personal preference for identity, the implications of the census represent so much more. Married. You need to know that the census started in 1790 with the U.S. Marshals. Yeah, those marshals. United States Marshals were assigned the responsibility for taking the census and they appointed assistants to do the job. It was rough going on the frontier for the average enumerator. That should already tell you something right there. And in its earlier stages, not only were they the ones who were responsible for collecting the data for the census, but the census belonged to the U.S. Department of Commerce. How many men are there? And I wouldn't be surprised if that's not by the design. For because for many of us, the census so. has been presented as a way of collecting racial data. Viola's theory was seemingly supported by the 1920 census for South Carolina. Some of us have found our ancestors through census records, the good and the bad of it, too. Age 27. Recognize any names there? Yeah, John Young. What's it like to see that? It's, it's like life. <laughs> you know. So now that you got a little bit of background information, let's get more into the campaign. I sat down with Dr. Tanya Hernandez to talk about Latino is not a race and what it means to us. Well, the first thing to keep in mind is that when the Census Bureau asks you what race you are and what ethnicity you are on the census, it's for a very particular purpose. And that purpose is to monitor civil rights enforcement and look for any signs of racial exclusion that might be caused by discrimination. It also enables a lawyer to be able uh, to bring lawsuits um, based on discrimination using the very same kind of comparisons, right? So that's why it's so important. What the debate is about is how Latino is counted and how Latino racial identity is structured. In erasing those categories and turning Latino into the race instead of an ethnicity with other categories that are racial, it means that that is a way of ignoring real race problems that exist. Right now, for the last couple of census, it has been two questions. One, are you of Hispanic Latino origin? Yes or no? And so every Latino who wants to can say, yes, I am Latino. <laughs> uh, then after that question, there's a second question. Okay, you're Latino. What race or races are you? The Census Bureau, uh, the OMB, wants to change that. They want to make it just one question, not two questions. And let's stop for a moment. The two questions let someone who wants to be able to say, I am both Latina and I am Black. Right? So that the, the Census Bureau is better able to then to measure and be vigilant about the ways in which I may be experiencing exclusion differently in a pattern with other Afro-Latinos. If I don't check that I'm also Black, that becomes invisible. It's erased right, from their ability to detect the pattern of problem and then to do anything about it and enforce civil rights law. Without our categories, it not only erases part of our ancestry and part of our story, it also erases our ability to speak up and point out issues that are happening that may be not just because of our ethnicity, but also because of our race. So the proposal now from OMB. Wait, the OMB? Office of Management and Budget. So OMB for short. Oh, you mean this OMB? Our nation, whether we agree with it or not, definitions have been established, categories of race and ethnicity. So according to the Office of Management and Budget, which is the office that determines race, 
and it's an office that reports to the President of the United States, there are five racial categories of which black is one of them and one ethnic group. And that ethnic group would be Hispanic. And within the Hispanic ethnic group, there are those individuals that speak Spanish. And it doesn't define them by race because you can have a person that's white Hispanic or you can have a person that's black Hispanic, Asian Hispanic, et cetera. So therefore, if we look at it from that vantage point, what we're talking about is not a difference in terms of ethnicity, but we're talking about a difference in terms of nationality. Where? Who? You been where? Where who? After listening to her talk, one thing is clear, and that is that many people don't understand who Latinos are. That's number one. And then also they don't know the difference between ethnicity and nationality. Also, being Latino has nothing to do with the language you speak. Every Latino does not speak Spanish, including my sister. Anyway, Dr. Hernandez, please tell us more because I'm over it. So the proposal now from OMB is to change it so that no more two questions, not just one question. And the one question would be, what race or ethnicity are you? White, black, Asian, Latino, indigenous. So it would make Latino a race, if you will, in parallel to black, white, Asian, indigenous. Um, Again, people could check all that apply. And again, the Census Bureau is not calling technically Latino a race, but let's be very clear. Listing Latino next to black and white as if these were both meant the same thing is a way that it makes the categories incoherent. Right? It makes the pan-ethnic grouping known as Latinos and Latinas y Latine, right? The same as if it were a black white Asian. And that is a sure path to erasing or at least diminishing the count of Afro-Latinos and other Latinos who wish to elect a race. Cameron Diaz and Tatiana Ali would not be in the same racial category, just like I'm not in the same racial category as Jenny from the block. She from a different block. Color and race is not just something that exists in a vacuum. These implications of color and race are so vast. There are so many things. Even the perception of us is affected by our appearance, our presumed category, and what we put on our applications as our race. Well, it certainly makes it seem as if there is only one way of understanding the existence of racial difference, um, as if only the U.S. has race, and people who come from somewhere else, their ethnicity now is a race, and whatever racial differences they may have experienced in Panama, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, et cetera, all of those are irrelevant, right? Uh, so, you know, let's flip the coin for a second. This also means that someone racialized as white in Argentina, Chile, many other places, but just that as an example, they then come into the U.S. space and the United States now with this proposal that is on foot <laughs> will treat their checking of Latino Hispanic on the race box as if that that, that white Argentinian Chileno has now been transformed <laughs> um, into a race in those categories, which I think anyone would can readily appreciate that that's disingenuous and not reflective of our race re realities in the United States or across the globe. This is just the surface of it all. Do your research, but also be vigilant about the choices that you make and understand that some things are not always what they appear to be. Here is how you can take action. April 12th is the deadline for submitting a comment to the Office of Management and Budget. Latino is not a race. <laughs> A collective, we have a link where you just press that button. We have a sample way of doing a, a public commentary. 
you could just copy and paste and hit send and you will be over and done with within like five seconds. Follow Dr. Hernandez and also make sure you follow Afro Latino Forum so you can get more information about what's going on. Latinegras love the skin you're in. Oh, thank you, Dr. Hernandez. And for the rest of you, don't forget to check out the Latinegras clothing line. I got some fly t-shirts. I got bags and all kinds of nice things where you can show your Latinegras pride. I'm on Milani. Y gracias por escucharme. Who knows where this journey will lead us next. But until then... Keep on loving the skin you're in.